Hey guys, this is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we shall be discussing about the freelancing work in the field of data science. How to get started in terms of freelancing. I shall be talking about some of the tips and tricks. So stay tuned. Now before getting started in this video, let's try to understand what is freelancing. Freelancer is someone who is self-employed. And he works on no timely basis, like no such long term contracts and no such commitments. So he works as per his wills, as per his leisure time. So you can do freelancing activities as a full time freelancer or as a part time freelancer as well. Now, in this video, I shall be talking about some of the tips and tricks to get started in the field of data science, how to start getting your freelancing projects and all those things. Okay. So before getting started, let's let's go through some of the pointers. Now the first and very foremost important point is going to be networking. Prepare your social profiles, be active on Stack Overflow, be active on LinkedIn, be active on Facebook. Now when I when I started freelancing, I, I literally got my first freelancing project from a Facebook group. So try to join as much startup groups as possible. We have n number of startup groups, Startup Bangalore, Startup Mumbai. So there are a lot of groups, try to join them, try to be active there. People definitely post some of the requirements there so you can get started and once you get started definitely after that uh, based on your word of mouth publicity you keep getting your clients. So this is how I started. I got my first project from a Facebook group. Then I started preparing my LinkedIn profile and I got my second project and henceforth I keep getting uh, freelancing tasks. As I said social marketing is very much important so try to market yourself. Try to create blogs, try to write blogs on medium towards data science or any forum. Try to create your own portfolios. Now that will definitely help you to portray yourself to the client. So, so the clients will definitely come to you. That's going to be your first point. Now the second point is going to be there are some platforms which definitely provides you these kind of activities. The so platforms like Upwork, Freelancer.com, Fever. So there are all these websites you can start creating your profiles and you can bid on the projects based on your expertise level. The third and most important point is going to be Kaggle. Now Kaggle also conducts a lot of competitions which are paid, right? So you can participate in that, you can start earning there, right? So Kaggle is definitely going to be a help point. You can definitely get started with Kaggle. Uh, and definitely the fourth point will be researching. Try to research, try to create as much connections as possible. Now the point one, and this particular point is going to be a little bit very same because uh, in the point one itself I talked about projecting your social skills, projecting your social profile. So point four is very similar to that. Start creating a professional network. Start connecting to top data scientists. Start interacting with them. If you know someone who already gets freelancing projects, start talking to them. How do they do that? Maybe you can initially join their team as a part-timer and then slowly you can know that okay this is how he is getting the things work and then definitely you can get your freelancing projects and the last point would be when you start uh, in this particular field of freelancing uh, try to get to know about your rates as in what are your market standards what kind of expertise level you have what kind of professionalism you carry so based on that try to tag your own rates try to talk to your peers what are they charging uh, what is the market rate and based on that, you can fix your hourly price. It's a tip that never bid less. Like when you when you start freelancing only for earning some extra income, there will be enough work coming in. So don't try to work for free or work for very cheap rates. There will be some instances in your career that people will be asking you to work on some particular projects and they will not be able to pay you. In your journey, there will definitely be some places or some times where there might be some issues in terms of freelancing, you might be working and you're not getting paid. So all these things comes by experience, you will be understanding what how freelancing works. Now, if you have any questions or any queries, feel free to connect me on LinkedIn and try to uh, get in touch with me so that we can have a chat, we can have a discussion. I do have some freelancing projects as well, so we can talk about it.